All right, what up everyone? A uh, quick disclaimer. My first two videos, I was using my Mac and my phone and my Mac was not of good quality. So I decided to use my iPad today and the iPad cut out after like 45 seconds. So this video today you'll be watching is just gonna be me with my hands opening cards, but you will be, uh, you'll be very impressed. So just stay tuned and uh, have fun with episode three, per never pause. Per gang, per life, life's per, per much, cause I do, let's go baby. All right everyone, episode three, we're getting some vivid voltage, doing some American style opening. Uh, last two episodes were battle style, getting the uh, single strike and the rapid strike in. So we're gonna get into more of those next week. All right, but I got these uh, American ones sitting here, this vivid voltage. So I thought we'd get into that. So the difference between these uh, American boxes and the ones I previously opened. All right, we got 36 packs for our American style ones and the booster boxes and the Japanese boxes come with 30. And they're smaller, you can see these are bigger. Got 18 on the left, 18 on the right. Now, I've been going on the right side for, I've been going on the right side for Japanese, so we're gonna start and we're going to go on the, the left side with American. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so there's a code. I think it is four. Yep, good to go. Cotney, Clavopus, Electrite, Execute, Eevee, and Jolteon. It's pretty cool, Jolteon first one of the day. All right, good to go. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip through these packs. So there's 36, like I said, spice the 30 that the Japanese have. And they also have code cards. So Japanese versions don't have code cards because uh, they don't have a TGC game to play online or anything like that. So Fighting Energy, Carlis, Dusclops, Mudbray, Puccini, Uenis Charmander, Shout out, Joltik. Woo! There we go. Let's get it. The second pack. You see right there. We have an amazing rare. Zashian. Damn, that's dope. And then Brown Dog. All right, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna sleeve up this bad boy right there. Get some of my, my Pikachu sleeves over here. But oh, dang, that, that was sick. So they're, these are from Legendary Heartbeat, the, the Japanese version. It's looking, it's looking good. Uh, so they came out with new, new cards back in July of 2020. So they're amazing rares. As y'all can see, they have the, the rainbow in the background. Um, and that's gonna be three more in the upcoming set, the Shining Fates. There's already a Shining Star V, it came out in Japan, but it's gonna be in Shining Fates. Code card. So, we'll see how that goes. And with these, um, I'm gonna put the, the average, the average price that was last sold, and then what they were selling for PSA 10. So, selling them raw, PSA 10, I'll put them up in the video, and we'll see how that goes. And re 
reverse hollow El Creamy. And then El Creamy, okay. Both rare, reverse hollow, non hollow. All right, good to go. I still haven't pulled it yet, but we're looking for we're looking for this bad boy right here for that chunk of chew. Uh, last I checked, he was going for like 400 raw. And uh, like I said, if we pull him, I'll get the price up. But in my my next video, it's gonna be uh, be doing informational video, right? People have been asking me different things, um, what should they should be looking for. So my next video, I am gonna be pulling cards, opening a couple packs here and there. But I'm gonna do some information to let everyone know who's watching what's going on in the Pokemon world, what they can do if they're just starting out, and things of that nature. Ooh, Moo Moo Cheese, put that on a nice burger. Belladum, Fampy, Duskull, Electrite, Pineco, Reverse him on top, and a Fortress. No bangers right there, but we'll get something. Cheese, Slab Eye, Chimco, Little Blitzel, Little Slugma, Little Beldum, Milkry, McCary, Reverse Energy, and Steelix V. Okay, so our first V, V of the day, nice V card. Looking right, it's good to go. I'm gonna sleeve that up too. difficult to open sometimes so I said fuck it and I just just do it with my teeth there's a card um yes we got episode three going right now nice little water energy I do curse once in a while it's just it's just how my language is um I'm not doing it intentionally but I'm also not gonna silence myself so if you are watching this and you are a youngin you know don't be repeating it but I'm also not your mother or your father, so it's, it's gonna be more on them. I'm just here to entertain and pull some Pokemon cards. Okay, nice little rare. But do my best not to, just to, don't really wanna offend anyone, but at the same time, coming here for entertainment, open Pokemon cards, having a good time. You know, a little cursing here and there. Everyone's gonna be adults someday, so. I think most people watching my channel anyways are adults right now. Oh, and we messed up a little bit, so. All right. Co. Clefairy. Meowth, Galarian. Reverse Regirock. Rare and. Nincat, trash. All right, so if you are opening Vivid Voltage, uh, what I have noticed is there is gonna be two, two amazing rares in each, in each pack, in each booster box, so you'll have that to look forward to. Those go for, for a decent amount, so it's not too bad. But it'd be dope to pull the, the Rainbow Pikachu. I haven't pulled any any American uh, hyper rares, so that'd be legit to do. All right, Dilber, Ashawat, the Skull, Reverse Drone Rodham, and ooh, non hollow Jolteon to go with our Reverse Hollow Jolteon. Oh, 
like I said, uh, I'm gonna try to get into box breaks. So I'm gonna put my Instagram for Pokemon in the link below. It's gonna be at per products, per life, one of those. But that's where I'm gonna be announcing when I'm gonna do box breaks. Uh, I probably wanna do it for another four to six weeks and mess it up again. We'll just go with it. Lightning, him on top, Joltik, Weedle. Reverse and Lycanroc. So, gonna get some videos out there, you know, just pump out as much content as I can. But then, if people wanna get into it, uh, I'll probably do, I'll open certain boxes before I do a box break, just so y'all can get an idea of what everything is gonna look like, what you can be getting in those boxes. And if nobody's interested, I'll still open them anyways because there's some good cards in there. We ain't graded, but from some good cash. Meowth. Duskull. Voltorb. Weedle. Okay, with nice reverse hollow. Garbage. Just a card. Uh, see, the thing about so, you know, ten was ten additional ten additional game cards, and the ones I've been opening only have five. And these are these are a little thicker, so they're not as easy to grip onto like the Japanese ones. And opening so many Japanese, I don't really like this yellow border anymore. But you know, I still fuck around with some Pokemon cards. Pull some good shit and you know, hopefully get it graded for a nice, a nice 10. Nice PSA 10, something like that. Reverse Whooper and Don Fan. All right, so we got one amazing rare today so far. And we have one V, which was the Steelix. Everything else has been kind of trash. That's another reason I like the Japanese ones is that you have a higher chance of, of getting a, of pulling something good. The American version, everything is, it's a rare, it, it's, if it's not a full art, it's not as good as they used to be. But we'll get something in here. Fighting, Loudred, Zebra, Eevee, watching some shooting stars, CDOT, Electrite, Clefairy, Fanny. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so. We just need a reverse hollow Flareon and we'll fucking, we got the set today. And that's what I'm talking about. So reverse hollow Vaporeon, let's get a full art, full art. Nope, the Nancy. Is that, okay, so hollow, I like that. But I like this even better to go with the Jolteon. That's a badass Steelix. So that'd be a secret rare in the Japanese, but this is just a, a better V than what we got before. This is nice. Damn, that's sick. It's looking good. And... So a yeah, good card. Definitely saving that up, I like that. That's what I'm talking about. See, it was, it was coming. It just takes a little bit to get some good pulls out here, but what well, we got, a nice Steelix V. All right, it's like the adult version, the one we got earlier. So, right, it's full art, it's way, way cooler. So 
shiny face coming out February 19th. Uh, that's gonna be pretty high commodity with all the, the shinies, the American shiny Charizard in there. Um, it is a pretty good set. I don't really like EB, uh, ETVs, Elite Trainer Boxes, because of all the extra stuff it comes with. Like, I think one's good, but after a while, I don't need all those dice and I don't need all those, all, everything that comes in there. That's why I like the Japanese boxes that, that look like this. All right, this is pretty much what Shining Fates is. Shiny Star V. And you just get 10 packs and there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Those, those are the best boxes to get. But the Lead Trainer boxes, I mean, that's how that's how you get the good cards. Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, all that. But it's coming out February 19th. I think it's pretty much sold out everywhere. Reverse Bay, what up, what up? Another, another freaking little forest ball. And then the Japanese ones I've been opening, the battle style, that's coming out March 23rd. Or maybe it's 19th as well. I think it's 19th as well. But it's gonna be, that's for the one in the States. So I'm gonna try to get my hands on that too. I got some, I got some sick, sick cards in there. I'm really trying to get that secret rare Trinitar. We'll see how that goes. Little Poochie, little Voltorb action, Rock Rough, Yanma, Reverse Alistair, Punk Rock like a motherfucker. I have not got this one yet. I don't even know how to say this dude's name. Is there Ario? Is there Ario? Zario. Zario. That dude's pretty cool looking. I actually like them. All right, we're almost halfway done with the box. And then if you are looking to get Vivid Vulture right now, they're going for like 225 on eBay for a, for a booster box, so. But you you could possibly pull enough to pay it, pay it off that uh, that amazing rare. I'm, I, I, it'll be up in the screen how, how much it went for, but that's probably at least a quarter of it. You know, that's the, those Steelixes could probably get you. I'll just put the, I'll put the, num the number up, but you could probably pay for the box. And then you're always looking for that rainbow Pikachu, that pink Pikachu, some other cards. Uh, shit ninja crap to pay for it. But the biggest thing is, uh, you know, it's cool collecting the cards and stuff. You know, I love doing Pokemon, trading, battling, going to conventions at the, the local mall. But right now, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to make some money while having fun because I always love Pokemon. Big, big part of my life for when I was a youngin, but now I'm trying to open cars, entertain y'all, and then flip cars and, and make some money for the fam, you know? So, it's, we'll do a two for one right there. It's pretty legit. Back uh, back in August, I bought a Mario and a Luigi Pikachu for 845 bucks, and 30 days later, sold them for 2,000 combined. So, pretty nice profit margin. Dude, this dude is a bad motherfucker. He's ready to fuck somebody up. Ooh, Talonflame V, okay. Okay. Mm. They don't go for the most, but it's still cool to pull for. I'll still, I'll still sleeve it up. But like I said, I'll probably, I will put, open more, more Japanese. I, I just have more fun doing it. The full arts feel better because it's not as many cards. You don't get as many duplicates. And it just, it just feels like, you know, they care about it more. And the, the American ones are just, they just throw it together. I don't feel like you get as good of a chance of pulling things. And it's, oh, there's a Vaporeon. Oh, didn't even do a card trick, right? You know what? Like we're just gonna we're just gonna go. I, I messed it up. So execute. All right, we got a regular. So so far we got a reverse hollow Vaporeon, regular Vaporeon, and same thing with our Jolteon. We just need Flareon to come out and play. Charmeleon, battle little motherfucker. 
Telescope, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Wismer. Okay, messed that one up. But, let's see, I'll save some of these. Good. But I go with the Japanese ones. Um, I'll keep doing it while I'm here in Japan. I'm gonna get the American ones because they'll go for more money, which I'll talk about in my my video for uh, in episode four. But while I'm here, I'm gonna snag uh, as many as I can, collect as much as I can. Okay, I think we got the card trick right this time. This is not a good card. If it's the if it's the Pikachu, I'll be tight. Fire Flame Spitter, Go Go, Carolise, Stone Energy, Eevee, C Dot, Electrite, Clefairy, Fampy. I feel like I got this pack already. Reverse Hollow Electrite, and Electrode. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. Always love pulling the, the originals. I bet who's ever watching is even gonna probably doesn't even play, so it's not gonna use it, but it's still good. Alright. Sidekick. League staff. This dude's just ready to go steal something. You can tell. A little crook. Croc crook. Makes sense. Makes sense. Voltor, Rock Ruff. Teruo. Yama. Whooper. I don't like this guy. Okay. I mean, it's Pikachu, so you know, we can get hype about it, but no biggie. Got him before, but hey, I'll, t I'll take a V. I'll, I'll take a nice Pikachu. You know, you never know, get it graded. Maybe turn, turn it to 50 bucks, something like that. We'll see what happens. But all, all the, all the face cards, all the my face cards, I'm not playing poker. All the full arts, Right over, probably somewhere around here. You you all have seen it already. I'll put the prices of full arts. See what uh, like I said, what they're going for as raw cards, which means just how you saw me pull it, and then a graded card, which has got the the plastic around it. But do some tutorials, some training stuff in my my next video. We'll see how that goes. Are right, you know what I was gonna do? So instead of doing a card trick, I was just gonna go through and see what see what cards we can get. Cause I've already been going through a pretty good amount of the video so far. All right, okay, and there is Jirachi. So I believe Jirachi and Celebi are the top top amazing rares. But uh, like I said, so there's Jirachi. Celebi, Rayquaza, there is Raikou, and the two new dogs from Sword and Shield, the one with the sword and the one with the shield. Zamazente and Zashi, the one, the one I pulled earlier. And we have Galarian, the Manitar V, so it's a pretty good pack. I'll sleeve those up in a bit, and the rest of these I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rip through. But yeah, see right there with the, with the two amazing rares. Even if I sell them raw or get them, get them graded, I could probably have paid for the, for the box I have, right? When I first bought these boxes, they were 90 bucks a pop. Now I go for 225. So there's a the card, and we're just gonna do Go through it like this, and this dude doesn't even know. He's like, "How am I a rare?" This dude's like, "Why would you even make me a rare card? I don't even get it." He's like, "Next time, just just leave me out of it." Sometimes I don't understand what they're doing when they're making these certain Pokemon into into rare cards. Like, have a better standard, man. Oh, 
stunfish. I'll beat some motherfuckers up in Pokemon Go with my stunfish. Reverse. Ooh, okay. What's up, Charizard? Let's get it. And a nice Charmeleon in the back. I like that. And then Charizard wasn't even the big in, in this one, but as you can see, man, right there is going to fight the, the gigantic Pikachu with. You see right there. Sir Farfetch'd. Then go try to try to take him down. Alright. But Charizard is always is always the cream of the crop whenever he is in any set. Okay, Lucario, I'm not even now we got a reverse hollow swole bat. Too rare, so I'll take it, but but yeah, Charizard is always a big hitter. Um, I saw one that just sold Charizard first edition base set. Graded, sold for 666,000. Probably a million by the end of the year, to be honest. But if you're in the Pokemon or if you're trying to make money, it's, it's, it's a good time to get in. I hope I did the card trick. What a nerd. So we got Batney and a little blue bat. Um, I know a lot of people get mad when they go to stores and, and elite trainer boxes aren't there, cards aren't there. And it sucks, because it, happen, it happens to me too. I'm like, dang, I want to go buy some packs, but it's the name of the game right now. People are grinding, people are trying to flip to make money. People are trying to buy out these boxes and, and make a living when you know this pandemic we're in. Shut the fuck up. Up, let's go! Are you kidding me? I, oh, let's fucking go. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, my cousin pulled this in my first, I bought 12 boxes when they first came out. My cousin pulled this in the first box. Yeah, I've never pulled. So that's 199 185. So this is an ultra rare. Aranguru. That's that's looking good. Yo, are you kidding me? So now I have two of these, plus I have the Japanese version. So now I can get them graded, sell one. Man, that's looking good, dude. This dude looks dope. Let's let's fucking go. I'm I'm stupid stoked right now. That was sick. Definitely sleeving him up right away. Should have penny sleeves, but penny sleeves are put in a thicker sleeve. Damn. Oranguru. That dude's looking like, dude, he's primate wisdom. He's about to whomp you down, you know? Just take out that H, you know what I'm saying? Take out that H and that whomp down. That's fucking dope. I can't believe it. That's dope. Wow. So, what I was saying is, I don't know, people get upset. And uh, here in here in Japan, one of my buddies, so what I was saying is, is people get upset and you know, people go to card shops. I had a buddy tell me he went to a card shop and he was going to buy a box and they told him that he couldn't, that they had a new membership deal where you can only buy 10 packs. And I was like, man, that's trash. Like you want to buy 10 packs, you can't buy certain boxes because people aren't getting a fair share, which I get it, you know. Oh, I get both sides, like kids want to get it. People want to have a, a chance to get cards, but you also know that Pokemon's hot as fuck right now, especially it being the 25th year anniversary. Yeah, people are gonna want to buy them as soon as they come out. Mm, Mudsdale, and uh, Mudsdale, drink some Budweiser probably. I need some Budweisers after hearing that. After hearing what I heard is that he uh, he can only get ten packs, and there are only certain boxes that they were selling. Every place is selling out now, but you know, if you really want them, you know how to get them. There's Amazon. There's the internet now. There, there's ways. To, to get the cards you want. And I'm just sick of people complaining about it. Like it sucks when it doesn't happen for me too, but okay. Get a nice reverse hollow. 
Oh, that fish better wash out because that bird's about to come and eat his ass up. And tornado does. You know, but it's the name of the game right now. You know, I'm, I'm open the rest of these packs. We'll, uh, we'll get, we'll bust through this. But, cause like I, my normal website that I go to, it's uh, Game Nerds. I went to go pre-order fucking battle style. And, ooh, ooh. So rude. I went to go pre-order battle style and it's already sold out. I went to go pre-order Shiny Face sold out, you know, so if I want to get it, it's going to be on Amazon for twice the money, but you know, you can still, you can still make your money. If you pull a Charizard, it, it's going to go for a good amount. Um, I think the Japanese one's going for like 400 by itself. If you have both Charizards, what am I doing? If you have both Charizards, you can probably get a cool 400, 800 bucks for it. Two can Sam looking ass. Um, so we'll see, but you know, I'm upset, but I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and cry and tell them they should limit personnel. Even though the company Game Nerds that, that I always have been using since 2019, uh, they do limit personnel, you know? So I already knew that off rip, okay, they're gonna limit personnel. You can only buy two or however many you wanna buy. Ooh, I like that. Charmander, Energy Burst Charmander. Let's get Swifty. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna keep that one to the side. But when you're a card shop and you know, I, if, I, if I was going in there pre-COVID or when I'm able to go places when we have Liberty over here and you tell me I can buy as much as I want and then because your store is selling out, you wanna limit people from buying the Pokemon cards they want, it's like, bro, it's pretty trash. Let's fucking go! <laughs> dude! Dude! Are you kidding me? Let's get it! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Dude! I don't think it will get a 10. I will reach! But. I get a new video because we are gonna be Chill out, dude. Yo. Dude. Let's, I don't think I need to open any more fucking boxes. Let's fucking go. Are you serious? Ah, man. It's not going to be a 10, but. Oh, I can still. We'll see the average of it. Oh, shit. I got to sleep. Are you fucking kidding me right now? See? Oh, my goodness. And that's what happens, you know? I pre-ordered 12 boxes months be six weeks before it came out. Damn, son. And, and and this is what happens. I'm opening it. Man, you just gotta be on, on top of shit. That is crazy. That's so cool. Alright, only a couple more packs. We probably won't get anything else. We already got. Two amazing rares, an ultra rare, and then the fucking Gigantamax fucking Pikachu. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's crazy. Maybe I'll just open my American packs like this from now on. Reverse a Ninja, Samaru, that's my rare, and a Charmeleon. Damn. You know, it'd be cool if I can get a. Well, I only got two more. If I can get a reverse hollow Charmeleon and Charizard. But damn, this box is full. I almost didn't open this box. Because I have six. Well, I had six boxes. Now I have five. But I was looking at eBay before I started recording. And six, somebody sold six boxes for $4,000. I was like, ah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't open it. But damn. Oh. Two, two Yamas. And a whim whims of Scott. But damn, if I didn't open that, holy shit. And this is our last pack. Alright. Wow. Can y'all believe that? I'm, I'm fucking juiced up right now. 
I don't even, I don't even need last pack magic. It's not gonna be anything. It's all good. But here is the code. And let's see. Hey man, that's a bad motherfucker right there. Galarian, Berserker. Holy shit though. Got these two bad boys. Need to put him in a sleeve. And where's the other one that we got? At the beginning. Wow. I can't believe I got these. I can't believe I got these two in one box. I don't think this dude will get a 10, but I'll let y'all know what he's going for. Like eight and nines, I'll let y'all you know, know. But I'll let y'all know what he's going for raw and between an eight and a 10. Damn. That was dope. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching in, uh, going a little crazy there, ranting a little bit, but that's what I'm gonna be doing on this channel. Um, kind of was coming off as negative, but it, it's just my vibe. It's just how I'm feeling about it right now because you, know, you gotta grind it, you gotta go after it if you wanna get it. Um, but this is gonna be a positive channel, putting things out there. I do get jacked up, I get juiced up. Uh, there is some cursing, but that's who I am. And if you don't like it, it's cool. You can find a different channel of people who don't swear. Um, I don't mean any harm by it, that's just how I talk. But I appreciate you coming through. Uh, Purd, never pause. I'll catch y'all next time.